Hello there, everyone. This is Iron Mark III, and welcome back to Forts in the Iron Bear section of the campaign. Today, I'm just starting on the Middle East in Barrel Bottom. We are scraping the bottom of the barrel in. No, that's the wrong flipping accent. <laughs> bottom of the barrel, and metal is scarce. Storage is a bigger problem. Can you afford the metal stores to develop your tech tree? So, kill the enemy fort. Connect to both barrel stores. Utilize all outcomings. Okay, let's build something which looks like it's going to be extremely rickety and unstable. Hmm. Fa the factory allows you to build the big guns, the cannon and the laser. Yes, I was already aware of this. I don't use the laser that much. I, as I said uh, previously, I do prefer the cannon. But uh, the laser it can do quite nasty things. But it can also be bounced back at you if you're not careful. <laughs> I didn't show that um, last video because I knocked out the shields with the swarm missiles. But if I'd fired the laser straight off the bat, it would have bounced straight back at me. <laughs> so <laughs> that wouldn't have been all that good. Okay, let's see what we've got to work with here. God, it's a barren, desolate landscape. Even so, it's ours. You'll have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Typical capitalist, unable to share. Hey, that sounds about right. And Eagle Empire's Fort is short on metal comrades. This means... Wait, why is Shock and All with me? I don't know. I've only just questioned this and I'm already in the second section. <laughs> this means you'll need to connect this fort to these mines. We have two mines, but it's metal storage is the problems. Okay. So, and the storages are all the way up there, of course. Build missile silos or additional mines, whichever you see fit. Oh, thank you! Space! Shear these pigs, comrade! Okay, let's begin. And I know I butchered the accent there again, thank you. So we don't have to worry about energy just yet, but metal is going to be my concern, so I need to connect up to those mines. Also, as you can see, my tower is getting more and more unstable, but I can connect straight to this, and that will help to stabilize it, because I've got to push up further to reach the next thing. Which is going to be a bit of a pain, but there we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty stable. Let's go ahead and expand out to the sides, I guess. Because, look, it's not wobbling much. It's shaking a bit, but it's anchored at the top and the bottom, so that's good. There we go, that's connected to that. Then connected to that. And there we go, that's pretty firmly anchored. Should be fine. Don't know what my enemy's doing just yet. Oh, they're still... They're actually preparing for an offensive, I think. Hmm, I should probably get ready to counter that. Just a thought. Just a thought, because I don't want to get shot, you know? I think it would be detrimental to my health and well-being and all that. Because when I looked at their base, they've got two door silos. Oh, three door silos even. They're probably preparing machine gun assaults or something like that. Hmm. I need to brace myself. I'll do for that. Okay, I've got the side bracing there ready for accepting armoring. But I'm going to go up here and grab the storage. They just built something over there. Connected. Connected. That's a serious tangle at the top there, but that's okay. Problem is, metal armoring, like I've showed you before, is really, really heavy, so it's not great. Let's just back that in there, just like and safe. Right. I uh, can't build any more of these, but I can build some mines. Mines would be a great idea.
get more metal coming because I am planning to go actually and decide what to do oh wait there's space on these ones as well let's build a mine up here nice and safe yeah that looks really safe doesn't it <laughs> oh jeez utilize all out copies that means I need to build on them all I think maybe but right now I do need to actually get some defenses up because I don't have any so adding some of that in Where's my devices? This is again, uh, you'll notice it's slowing down a bit now that I've got to worry about metal reserves. I mentioned this last time, but having to worry about that kind of thing does slow the game down slightly. Ah, uh, yep, here, here comes some offensive fire. I knew that was going to be coming. Let's put a mine in that one. And get some more armouring up. Because I do need a bit. This isn't great for angling, this one. It's okay like that, though. So, I'm going to actually downgrade these to background timbers, like that. And that will mean that they just hit those and ricochet off harmlessly. And for some reason, I built the entire thing, this main bit, out of the solid ones, not the background ones, which is a bit silly of me, but... What's done is done right now. I can go back around trying to fix that in a moment. Because right now I'm about to get an upgrade sensor. They're building storages of all sorts, it sounds like. Okay, an upgrade sensor. Let's again use that spot there. That's co quite, pretty convenient. That's at the back as well, so it's sheltered. Yep, yeah, machine gun fire incoming. That doesn't actually hurt anything there, so... That didn't do a thing. That's all good. Hmm. You know, I'll leave it like that for the moment. That should be okay. But I need to start preparing. I'm going to actually use some missiles this time around. I'm going to use a... Is this big enough for the trick? I don't think it is, but... Um... No, it's not. There was this little trick where you could deploy it half and half, like it would go there and then you could squeeze in a second one sometimes, depending on the size, but I suspect they've fixed that. I would not be surprised if they have. So that said, that requires now a sniper device, which I'm going to install... Um. Let's install it there, actually. Yeah, up there. That's fine. Then another swarm missile right there. I was planning to go cannons, but, you know, let's get some missiles in. <laughs> let's go for a bit of variety. Besides which, I'm not sure what they're doing. Uh, yeah, that's looking okay. Right, that's completed. I need to get some more stuff in. I need to better protect my sniper, because they might get counter-sniped. So... I'll install an additional door there to protect it. That's looking all good. This area is still very weak. And yet they've got some freaking Gatlings going on. The fact they've got Gatlings is actually slightly concerning, so I do need to get some more armouring up to stop that from getting through. Yep, they're trying to sever my top line there. That's okay. Right, I have two missile silos ready. Let's combine those into one. Yeah, you can see why I put some metal into there, can't you? Just to deal with light attacks like this. Okay, I need to do something about this up here. Uh, can't do anything with that because it's 
metal. So, let's install background bracing. Yeah, they're just trying to sever up here now. So. Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cheeky sods. Right. The thing is, I want to deflect upwards to protect, but I need to get some stuff down here as well, so... Yeah, I guess that'll do. Then just connect it up like that. The entire thing's not very happy, but eh, it'll hold. It'll all hold. Now, where are you going to fire? Yep, trying to sever it a bit, but it's not really caring too much. I need to do that as a bullet trap, though. There we go. The entire thing is <laughs> just not happy. <laughs> right, that, it's about time I actually try to do something back. So... Let us do this. Fire the swarms. The swarms are not going to do that much to them, really. Oh, yep. Yeah, I, I knew that was coming. Ha! <laughs> okay, that works. That works. But I, as soon as they started using me, because I knew there was going to be a big burst at some point, so that's why I was starting to armor up and make sure I didn't have... I just wasn't ready. Fire the missiles! Go! There we go. See, they don't have any real defences against the missiles right now, so... Well, I must also point out my missiles aren't really doing much damage. Oh, jeez. Yeah, now you see why I was starting to replace all this with background bracing, because those miniguns just nearly severed the top part of my base. And this entire area would have just given way if they that had if I hadn't got in and started preparing. There was a stress warning going off on the middle, so... Oh, they've got an, um, they've got an AP sniper going on, so... There's just a little bit more armour behind that to get an additional layer of defence going on to block the AP sniper shots from getting through. That's fine. That area's now been hidden for the most part, so that's okay. Yep, as you see, that's doing alright. No damage. Take all the missiles. Sniper did nothing. Yeah, I definitely need a bit more firepower to deal with all this. There we go. Right. Let's do something else. Let's grab a factory. Make things better. Bullet trap's working perfectly. That's just fine. And can I get these upgraded? Actually. I need to upgrade... They don't have any defensive fire, so I can just flat out upgrade them both to warheads. So that'll be very, very powerful. Oh, hello. They've got some, laser, some missiles. Yep, they've got some missiles. Okay, I need to get some weaponry and sword to deal with that. Swarms. Didn't really do much. That's all okay. But I'd rather that hadn't happened, so that's why I'm going to actually get some weaponry to deal with it. Uh, weapon, and... Weapon, and weapon. Yep. And there, of course, is another problem. And that did not very little because I had the metal armor installed down there, so that's okay. Right. Let's see. Bullets are deflecting downwards, so I need to install that up there. That should help. And I need to put in a bit of defensive bracing. Yeah. 
yeah, that's that's pretty much useless at this point. Okay, the warheads are both installed and fine, so let's go ahead and smash some stuff. Let's see how well these do. The problem is I'm firing into the arc of the miniguns, but the miniguns are just... Yeah, they just fired, so they just didn't do anything. Oh! Bullseye! And the two nuclear missiles were just perfect for smashing straight through their fort and collapsing it. <laughs> yeah. Was that scrap versus the metal? At least there's plenty of energy. Well, about... Oh, come on. No matter. Our spies have located the last known position of your helicarrier. Once we tap the Mother Lord, we won't need to worry about energy. That's rather short-sighted. But it also tells me that energy restrictions are about to come into play as well. So, hmm. Okay. So the next one. Africa's unlocked. Yay! But the next mission is... Firing the hole. Destroying them before. Destroyed by machine gun positions. Build three new mines. Wait, there was a... There was a version of this earlier. Late to the party again, comrades. Just like getting to the moon. Oh, burn. Coming first isn't always the best. The Eagle Empire is uh, developing their mine system. Yep. Our fort only has two mines. Build your fort down in order to construct mines and extract metal on these sites. But why are there flipping machine guns? Beware, comrade. The sites are guarded by machine gun positions. You'll have to destroy them to prevent your mines from being destroyed. So... Uh, that's a slight twist, but... Mm. How am I supposed to deal with that? I want that. There we go, anchor that into place. So, I need to get something down here to deal with all this. Apparently. I don't need metal. What I need is... Just flat orb bracing. I don't know why I have to do this, to be quite honest. This confuses me a bit, but I need to build weaponry down here apparently to just deal with this, so let's just continue. There we go, that's stabilized. Get another machine gun down here. Swine. Right. Those machine guns are just absolutely flipping cheeky, aren't they? There we go. Right. That's all okay. Oh, look. They're attacking my gun again. That's one dealt with. Okay. Let's just clear out the other one. And then I can focus on actually getting past this nonsense. Destroy both machine guns. Okay. Right. So I can just sell those off again. Because I don't need them down there anymore for some strange reason. Convert those to wood because I get back some materials from it, so that's all fine. Right, what are they up to? They are working pretty hard. So, I'm going to get my first upgrade in the form of this thing. And I'm just going to tuck it there. Sure. Why not? That thing's very haphazard, to be quite honest. Oops. There we go. There, so that one's connected. Right. Uh, I can plant down another mine since it's got some funds. I've got that factory up because I'm actually planning to install a set for mortars over here. That's why I built those three gaps there, just to get a mortar range set up. So I can start bombarding them. I think they've got defensive MGs in there, though, because that's background bracing in the top of their fort. 
So, uh, I have to wait and see what exactly that is. But I just don't trust it at all. So there we go. A bit more space there. Come on, I want those mines. Plop it down there. Right, and I can put another mine down there. And there's space for one more mine down there, but getting another mine before I build the bracing is more important. Because I just don't have the resources to properly do it. Yeah, they're doing something over there. Right, next mine. Then it's an expand over this way. Right, better, I better anchor that actually, so. Go, and also I'll connect to that. And just drop it down here. Yeah, as you can see, the entire structure is just very wobbly all over the place, so that's why I wanted to get some anchoring done. There we go. New mine. There we go. Oh, mine source taps. Right, I can focus on actually doing offensive things, like making rude gestures in the direction of the enemy. They are building up, so they're probably going to be able to do line of sight attacks pretty soon. Ooh, that's not good. Right, let's build it back here a bit. There. Uh, that didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Right. Okay, weaponry. Let's get some mortars set up. That should be okay. Right. Now then, defences though, that's what I really wanted, so... Actually there's no point really, is there, because, um... Oh no, they're actually going to have line of sight, so... I really need, really, really, really need to get some defensive weaponry ready to fire. So let's actually just put in the machine guns first, worry about the rest of it later. You are group number two. You guys are group number one. Okay. Group one is ready to fire, so let's go ahead and start bombarding them. Ooh, that went way too far, and yep, there are the defensive machine guns, just like I thought they were. I way overpowered those shots. Let's try that. Okay, need to drop it slightly. So I can get a line on those machine guns straight away. Okay, I've got the li I've got the line on them, but I don't actually have. Let's actually sacrifice those. I don't really having some more more tiles would be better. Yep, there we go. One got through. If I can double up the uh, mortar fire, then I can probably end this fairly quickly. I think. But I'm not really wanting to wait until they've got whatever is going on up there ready. You know? Oh, yep, incoming enemy mortar. Damn it all. I thought they were going to do something like that. Racing's down here. I can't really focus on. There we, there we go. Oh, I've actually been blocked. Right. Okay. Uh, need to sell that one again. They are upgrading things.
Okay, that's good. Right, that's good enough. I am starting to get things through. No, let's not do that. Let's actually build one there. Right. Oh, yeah, that's doing the business now. Oh, jeez. Flipping heavy mortars, that's not good. <laughs> You're dying pretty darn quickly, actually. And my mortars reload faster than yours. Yep, this is working. <laughs> I'm using. I don't normally go straight for incendiary mortars, but hey, if it works, it works, you know. And it helps that I manage to line them up directly onto the um, where the enemy's defensive guns were. So. I'm about to sever their minds. Actually, I think I did just sever their minds, didn't I? No. Well, that was useless. Ah. Ow. Let's alter the angle slightly on the three. There we go. They are putting a lot of mortars in the air. Bloody hell! Have you seen? Did you see that? Look how much this darn thing is wobbling. Oh, flipping it. Oh! Curses. No. Uh, that was definitely working. I was doing a lot of damage, but... They managed to start bombarding because I didn't have a good defense set up, so... My base was unbalanced and I paid for it by losing. Blast it. Let's check their base though. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have any defenses, and that would have been an ideal place to have the machine guns. Over there. Where I put them in the first place on top. But I replaced it with mortars because I, was, I wasn't thinking ahead properly, so yeah, look how much that's wobbling. Jeez. And they just piled on the mortars because I wasn't doing enough damage. My flame mortars were just hitting this metal bracing and not doing much. And so I lost. <laughs> but yeah, sadly that's all I've got the time for for this video. So, this has been Iron Mark III. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show of me getting blown to pieces. Always a fun thing to watch, I know. And I'll catch you all some other time. <laughs> Yeah. See you all later.